So, uh, the music industry has seen a lot of changes since you dropped your last album. How do you feel dropping an album this year with sales on a downward trend? I mean, um, discuss that with like people all the time. I think the, the trend in, in record sales dropping is due to a lot of different things. One of the main focal points is just the whole digital revolution and you know, the downloading of music and how people get their music. But at the same time, I think um, there's been a lack of brilliant records to support good record sales as well. Uh, I think people are, um, because of that, people are like, I might as well get it. And they're not buying into the artists and everything that an artist can bring to the table which is worth getting a CD for, so, you know, so that combined, I think, um, contributes to the sales going down. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I think the number one record in the country this week, Billboard, sold 66,000 copies. Lowest, lowest ever, I think. That being said, you have to adapt and do things differently, so... I think um, artists are going to start doing that, and I've been trying to implement that as well, just involving yourself and embracing the technology instead of trying to fight against it. And um, just being up on what technology has to offer, because the world is changing. Am I rambling right now? No, no. Ah, good, uh, good. So, I mean, it's just, it's really an incredible tool when you think about it. At one point, you talk about people who brought messages. Let's take, for example, Jesus had to walk the planet, preach the gospel, and word of mouth, and then records. And now I could do this blog, and people in Sweden get it immediately. So it just intensifies and resonates even more so when you have something powerful like when the gun draws that you should have seen already <laughs> now nah, but seriously it's just you have to embrace it and i, I think it's dope I'm, I'm ready for technology